Hey everyone, I'm Terry G. Thanks a lot for stopping by and watching my video. If you could take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? I'd really appreciate it. And again, thanks a lot for stopping by. What I want to talk about today, I want to talk about my solution to my anger issue. And if you have an anger issue that you're lashing out at people, places, and things, you are going to have a hard time when it comes to your sobriety and your just regular life, okay? Because anger can cause you a lot of, lot of difficulties in your life. You know how I know? Because it caused me a huge amount of difficulties in my life. It wrecked relationships, it wrecked jobs, it wrecked friendships, it had a, played havoc on my family. It's done so much damage to my life that I had to do something about my anger. But if you have an anger issue and you think that you cannot control it, this video is for you, okay? It really, really is. The first place where I wanna start is that I did not do anything about my anger until I started to realize the impact that it had it on other people. Things I said and did to other people, one day I just woke up and said, I cannot continue to look, live like this. I was too angry all the time. I would fire up like that, you know, at the littlest things, anything that was negative emotions I was feeling, like hurt, I felt afraid, I felt ripped off, whatever it may be, I was always lashing out at people. And when I couldn't get my way, I used anger, lashed out at people. And when I say anger, I'm trying to sort of candy coating it because a lot of times it was rage and I made people afraid of me. I become very abusive. I'm six foot, almost six foot two. I weigh 220 pounds. And when a guy my size gets angry and starts throwing his arms around like a, a crazy man, a lot of people get pretty nervous, okay? They really do. It's not that I'm a fighter, it's just that I could be loud and I could come across as being very behavioral when I get angry. So anger did not work in a positive way for me. It really didn't. So what did I do to help myself with my anger issues? The first thing I did was I talked to a person in a 12-step program and he said, yeah, Terry, you do have an anger issue. And he says, what I would do if I was you, Terry, I would go and talk to a counselor. And that's what I did in very early recovery. I knew I wasn't really functioning or firing all pistons that well. I was too pissed off at the world. I was pissed off at myself and I was pissed off at the world. So I went to see a counselor, a non-counselor that was in the addiction field. Somebody that's just focused on anger and helping me develop a more positive way of dealing with my with myself in, in situations that required me to be more assertive and be more you know the, the be more appropriate behavior so I, I talked to a counselor for about five to six years believe it or not in early recovery we talked about a lot of childhood issues a lot of things that I did a lot of things that were done to me and it really helped it really did because I tried other techniques to help me with my anger, things that I've talked about before in videos like pause, take a step back. It really didn't help. And I tried positive thinking, reading books on anger. I tried all these things, but it really didn't help because I wasn't willing at that time to get to the core of what was making me so angry. And I had to go back in my past and get honest with a therapist and talk about things that were that I find found troubling. It really helped me with my anger and some really core issues I needed to deal with that were triggering that anger, that were making me fire up at things that weren't such a big deal, but I'd always make a big deal of them, start an argument or get angry at somebody, you know, that kind of stuff. Now I wanna talk about things that I do on a daily basis for many, many years to help me with my anger issues and keep an eye on it, keep a lid on it for, for lesser words. The first thing I do is I make sure I'm looking after myself. And one of those things that I need to make sure what I'm doing properly is getting enough sleep. When I get tired, I can flare up, I can start a fight, 
uh, I shouldn't say a fight, but an, an argument with somebody very easily. So paying attention to the amount of sleep I'm getting is really great for me. And realizing when I'm tired or when I feel run down at you know, the day's end or during the day or in the morning, not to have a big conversation or get in some heavy talk with somebody or talk about something, some difficulties in my relationship. I, I keep it very, very simple until I feel well rested. And because I feel well rested, I feel that I can take on things a little better. So paying attention to my sleep, making sure that I get enough sleep. And for myself, that's a huge trigger for my anger. And it might be for you and you might have something else that shoots off your anger. So I pay attention to that. I look after myself when it comes to sleep. The second one is, is when I feel overwhelmed. In the program, we have a saying, just take it one day at a time. And that saying is really important for me because you know, during the summer, we can have barbecues, we can have weddings to go to. Meanwhile, I'm working, I have a relationship, I have a cottage, I have a house, I do all this kind of stuff. You know, I go to meetings, I have sponsees, I do all this kind of stuff on a daily basis. But sometimes life just catches up with me and I feel overwhelmed. And when I feel overwhelmed, I start feeling anxious. I start getting anxiety. My sleep kind of affects my sleep, all that kind of stuff. So. The feeling of overwhelm, so overwhelmness. So what I try and do is just take it one day at a time. I'm an adult. I have to take responsibility and sometimes life does get busy. But just to break it down in one day at a time or half days or half, you know, one hour at a time and just look after yourself, look after myself and yourself as you're going through it. And I find that really works. And also some the stuff that's not really that important that I'm starting to carry along in those days, I can cut off, I can let go. Maybe I, you know, drop going to the gym once or you know, once that week. Instead of going three times, I go two times. Or maybe I don't call my sponsor that week, or you know, instead of calling him three or four times a week, just maybe once or twice. Just just cut back on stuff. So I can cope with that that busyness or that feeling of overwhelmness, okay? So that's a huge one for me too. Another one is, is I don't hang around with people who piss me off, who I don't like or don't like me or, you know, I don't get involved anymore. I make good choices for myself. And I'm not saying if I don't like somebody, I'm gonna fly off the handle. No, I'm not gonna do that. But I'm not gonna set myself up to people who are argumentative, who are negative, or they don't like me or things like that. So I don't put myself in situations when it comes to people, places, and things that I find uncomfortable and maybe arouse my anger. Maybe somebody I have a resentment about or a situation that I don't agree with that's happening. And I sort of, you know, walk in there thinking I'm gonna be okay with it, but I'm not, I'm not okay with the situation or I have a resentment on about somebody and I, you know, I think I can handle it, but just, I don't do that anymore. I just give myself some time to relax and work on those issues and work on that resentment or work on that situation. So I make proper choices in my life that I never did before. I was a big people pleaser before and I thought, you know, I had to do certain things for people to like me. So I just stopped doing things like that. I hope that makes sense because what I'm saying, it doesn't seem to make that much sense, okay? Another one that I do that really, really helps is, and it's it's simple in the, in the words of saying it, but it's really difficult. When I feel I'm gonna go off, or when I feel I'm gonna get angry at somebody, or a person, place, or thing, when I feel I'm gonna shoot off my mouth, or you know, I, I'm, I'm gonna lose it, I pause, I shut my mouth, I sit on my hands, you know, that kind of thing. What I'll do is I'll pause, or I'll just remove myself from the situation. But I try not to react to that situation. And then after I pause or leave that situation, I evaluate it. Is it worthwhile going back in there and explaining myself? Is that person uh, that important that I need to talk to them about it? Is that situation that just happened, is it that important that I need to bring it back up and talk about it some more? And I can evaluate myself. Anger caused me a lot of difficulties, not, not, all, not, not just in my relationships, or my work relationships, but with myself. Because when I got enraged or I got angry at somebody, 
inappropriately, it always caused me a lot of shame, a lot of embarrassment, a lot of guilt. So getting angry in an inappropriate way, it's not good for me. It really isn't. You know, I get this, this overwhelmed feeling. I go through this emotional hangover. I beat the shit out of myself. It's just a, not a great place to, to be. So those are a few things I do. And like I just said, anger is a great emotion. It's emotion of change. It's an emotion that tells us something's wrong with us. Like something's wrong with our world. Not wrong with us, there's nothing wrong with you, but a wrong with our, a wrong with our world and we need to change something. And that's what anger is all about. Or something is that we're in danger, right? But not nowadays, not, not too many people are in danger of some you know, wild tiger you know, popping out of the bush. But anger is a very useful emotion. But for myself, I need it to learn how to respond to anger accordingly and those techniques that i pointed out going to a, a counselor enabled me to pause to relax to look at the triggers that set me off in my anger or you know i feel anxious about or you know i feel fight or flight and they really really help and i know you have something that maybe triggers you and I have a few more, but this video is getting too long, so I just want to keep it short and sweet. But like I said, I learned to be assertive, I learned to be honest, but I learned to make great choices for myself in this world. And because of that, I feel better, I can exert my anger appropriately, respectfully, without hurting anybody, without being abusive. And you know, that's a gift from sobriety. That's a gift from one day at a time. If I didn't get sober, I would have been a lunatic and who knows, maybe I ended up in jail for, for fighting somebody and beating the shit out of them. Who knows? Because my anger was rage. It was crazy. It was out of control. So if it's, if it's like that for you, you're not alone, okay? You're not alone. My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. If you can do me a favor, can you please subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below and smash that like button, okay? We'll see you next week. Thank you very much. Ciao for now. I'm